And welcome to Health Connection with Kettering Health Network. I'm Chris Wilgus, and we're talking today with Dr. Jerry Alawalia, an orthopedic surgeon with Far Oaks Orthopedists and a member of the Kettering Physician Network. First of all, thank you very much for being here today. Hey, thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. We want to talk about hip impingements and the ways you treat those. What exactly is a hip impingement to start with? Hip impingement is a syndrome that can affect people of many ages. Uh, it is oftentimes something that uh, has a genetic component, so people develop it uh, secondary to genetics, and oftentimes it can also uh, be affected by activity levels. So uh, there are several different types of impingement, um, essentially three basic types. Uh, one of them is a CAM type impingement where people have an impingement lesion on their femoral head uh, or on the neck region of the femur. Uh, the second type is a pincer type of impingement where the primary impingement lesion is on the acetabulum or the socket of the hip. And then the third type is a combined type of impingement where a person may have the impingement lesions on both sides of the hip, the femur and the socket. And what are the symptoms? How would someone know they may have an impingement? Another good question. So oftentimes uh, people will have uh, secondary to activity uh, pain uh, or mechanical symptoms in their groin. Uh, it's oftentimes uh, related to positioning of the hip or certain types of strenuous activity. So oftentimes uh, athletes will get it, uh, runners will get it quite often. Uh, People who are playing soccer and kicking sports can also uh, develop those symptoms. How do you treat it when someone does come in and find out they do have a hip impingement? A hip impingement can be treated most oftentimes through arthroscopy. The only caveat to that is if someone has developed some secondary degenerative changes because of all of their activity, they may not be a candidate for arthroscopy. But in most instances, hip impingement can be treated with hip arthroscopy, which is an outpatient procedure. Uh, it is sometimes a long procedure, uh, several hours, but uh, it is uh, minimally invasive and people can be discharged to home that day uh, with uh, essentially pain medications and therapy to follow. What kind of therapy, what can people expect after that's over? Usually people get back to full activities, uh, especially uh, if this is a result of some type of an athletic injury, uh, they can return to their full sport activities. Depending on what needs to be fixed, if it's a labral tear that needs to be repaired with stitches, uh, the people may need to be on crutches for a certain number of time, sometimes four to six weeks. Uh, the weight-bearing status after hip arthroscopy depends on uh, how much the labrum is damaged and how it has to be repaired. Typically, I, I send people to therapy for about two months after an arthroscopy. So it is a long therapy process, but they're usually back to full activities after that time. All right, keep watching for more Health Connections videos. Look for the audio version on iTunes and find doctors like Dr. Alawalia at KetteringPhysicianNetwork.org. Thank you very much once again. Thanks a lot, Chris.